I'm putting 110% into this show. I've been emailing John Mugar ideas for the show every single night. And, and next morning around 8 a.m. I get this reply. Sounds good. I've been sending the sounds good response. Uh, it's, it's just a, a little bit of a stock response. And I haven't really been reading all of his complaints because they don't really make much sense. And he sends them very late at night. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. Eric, hi. I thought we said 10 o'clock. Eric and John seem to be ganging up on me with the network saying that they want more action and they want more drama. My appointment ran a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm here now, you want to start working on some comedy ideas? And <clears throat> yeah, but uh, more importantly is, I, I think we just have some general like theme differences for the show. What do you mean? In terms of the energy, the action of it, I've been talking to a lot of people here on staff and... Hey guys, you know, Tom Cruise is on the phone. Oh my god. He's <laughs> <laughs> the... The Tom Cruise, You're just, this is not a friend. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about your show. What a remarkable event. I mean, we are just going strong here on the GoPro show. We get a call from Tom Cruise, boom. What are you doing this afternoon? Uh, we're just working on some comedy ideas, Tom. What if we fly up in my helicopter to El Capitan, and then we get up to the top, and then we rappel down? That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Tom, that's a great, great idea. I would, I would love to get me and Tim up there. Well, listen, thank you for calling, and, um... Again, we're huge fans. It's really neat that you called. I don't jump out of planes. I don't do zip lines. I don't do Harley Davidson Papa Wheelies. And that's just not who we are. John! Uh, that was Tom Cruise, actually. Just checking in. He's a big fan of our stuff, and like, he had some cool ideas to like get us up there, do some skyfall and stuff. Let's budget it out. I don't really have the plane. I want to put a pin in that right now because <clears throat> I'm just not. You know, as I told you before, I have a fear of heights, and I don't think it's true to the original idea of what the show is about. Again, I think the issue is, like, the emailing problem, you know? Like, did you, last night I sent you a bunch of emails saying Tim is not on board with a bunch of my stunts and ideas, and you wrote back, sounds good. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you're getting that information and really processing it and, and bouncing it over to Tim. Yeah, I just actually um, had a call with the network earlier. They're very happy with the adjustment we made okay. on your camera. Mm -hmm. There is an issue with Tim's camera. Apparently, they noticed that a lot of people are being are distracted by your lens, so they want us to cover the lens a little bit better. Is it that distracting? Is it that much of a I big mean, deal? I, no I noticed it. I didn't right. want to say anything because we have a. Lot well, this of is other what problems. it is. I mean, this is as small as they go. The camera. I mean, we, we could do. Spy cameras or something like that. They sent it to focus group. They notice people. They're, they're, they're really focusing in on that lens. All right, well, how about this? We could get uh, like a bald cap that goes down right to here uh -huh. and do a wig that matches my hair color. Is there some kind of, you know, uh, special effects makeup person we could bring on board that could design something like that? I can't think of one. I need a bald cap and a wig and meet me in my office. All right. The bald cap and wig uh, over the camera, over Tim's head, I think it's a, a big mistake. What do you think? Does this work? Barely. And it's really one of the worst solutions that I've, I've seen those guys come up with even uh, in anyone in, in, in production. And th there's no way that that's not uh, more obvious and apparent than what it was on there before. It looks fine. All right. Well, then help me out. Ah. Hi, John, two questions. Yep. Chinese food tomorrow, correct? Well. And um, how, is this okay? Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I'm glad we could work this out, and thanks for your work as our producer. And now you and I have to get back to work writing yeah. comedy ideas, I think. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, I have to do a couple notes that I'll be firing off tonight. If you could read those and just get back to me. Just about some issues about the show. So. You don't want to talk about it before you go home. I've been getting a lot of um, late night emails from Eric and just with different different issues he's having with the production. Most of the time I'm confused on set. 
I don't know what's happening. Obviously, uh, we're looking at this project from two completely different angles. It's really at a point right now where I'm not sure I want to continue along. I'm working on a lot of different productions right now. Uh, this is only probably one of four and uh, definitely the smallest production. So just kind of hoping it skates by and they can figure it out as we go along. At the, uh, the photo studio down the street. My wife says, I'm, I'm not, we're not spending another dime on your headshots. Uh -huh. I said, well, I got the HP printer with the inkjet. Yeah. So I go down to Staples.